Hi guys! So I'm picking some greens right now for an all you need smoothie. So literally I've just picked these from my garden um, and they're gonna go fresh into a smoothie and we're gonna show you basically how to do it. So guys, I'm creating a new raised bed so that I can make even more delicious smoothie, right? We're gonna add more plants and vegetables in here. Are you ready? Right guys, so we've now built the raised bed and the next stage is now filling it with the first stuff, which is rotten food matter. So I'm now putting this in and it does stink, like pretty bad. But um, yeah, right, I've got to figure out how to do this. Whoa. Right, so the next layer is grass cuttings. So I'm gonna take this and offload it into the raised bed now. I'm hoping anyway, I might need to get up here a little bit. <laughs> Woo! Right, ready. In we go. So our next layer is gonna be topsoil now. So I've gotta get up the mound. <laughs> Whoa, I'm gone. And then lift. And here's my new raised bed. And next I'm going to be adding in some carrots. So some carrot seeds. Right guys, so I'm going to now make the smoothie and I've got everything out that I'm going to be adding in, which is pretty wild, the amount of things that are here. Um, I'm going to first of all add some coconut milk. So um, this is my like base, if you like. I'm going to fill it up to about 0.6 and there we go and then from there i'm going to add in this superfood plant protein this is all you need created by one of my friends uh, juliet's kitchen and um, the, the team and it's literally i mean if i if i was to read you everything that's in it we'd be here all day but there's, there's so much. It, the reason it's called superfoods is because it is full of so many of them. Um, so I'm going to now add some of this. I'm going to do maybe it, two tablespoons is the recommended per person. So I'm going to add in, I'm going to do three. And then I can share it. So there we go. That's that. Next going to add in, we've got some banana, apples and pear. So let's get all that in. And then from there, we will add some of the powders and then we'll save it fresh for the, the very last bit. So I'm adding in some cacao powder because I love the taste of chocolate. And there's so many health benefits to having cacao as well. Um, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, all of it. Um, I'm then going to add some hemp seeds because these make it go creamy and they're really good fats. So I'm going to add a couple of those. And then some cinnamon. This cinnamon, which I believe balances your blood sugar, um, but I also love the taste of it. So that can go in. That was, I'm not measuring now, I forgot to measure, but you can kind of see. And then this is Tulsi, so holy basil, I believe. Some of that in there as well. Now, one more, we've got some dried nettle here, which I personally love for regulating the cycles of women and taking care of our menstrual health. And then after that, we're gonna add in all of this fresh goodness from the garden. So we've got, we've actually got stinging nettles somewhere in here. We've got um, mugwort, mint, fennel, plantain. Uh, what else have we got? That's mint. Maybe we've got some herbs like ore oregano in there as well. And maybe some, not sure if we've got dandelion, but we have all of that within the garden. So yeah, we're now going to blend this up. I think that's everything. Are we ready? <laughs> One, two, three, go! Woo <laughs> and then we dance. <laughs> <laughs>
look. Wow. Oh, we've got a bit of plant in there, like dead plant, we don't want that. Wow, this is a thick, delicious smoothie, so I will go ahead and try it. Oh, wow, <laughs> that's actually really good. That's amazing. Cheers, guys.